take it into star jumps, guys. Into touchdowns. Good, just get out. Take the arms forward. And back. Across the chest. All right, guys, shuffle out to the side. Touch to the side. Alright guys, give me five walkouts please with four shoulder taps after each one. That's it guys, walk it all the way out. Four shoulder taps and then walk it back in. Everyone got a resistance band handy. Yeah? Cool. Pick up your band for me, guys. Take two overhand grip like this. Shoulders down, then you're going to pull it apart. Bring it back together. If you've only got a loop band, this might be hard. If you've got a, a, a bigger resistance band, grab that. If not, if you've got tights, guys, if you've got a pair of tights, that would probably be better. But if you've got a stretchy loop band, that'll be alright. Go do about 10 of those guys. And then rest once you've done it. Cool, once you've done about 10 of those, just relax. Take one arm across the chest and stretch out the shoulders. Guys, we've got those in the workout, so if you feel like you can't really do them with the band you've got, in a second, go and grab yourself something a little bit looser, maybe a pair of tights or something like that. That's better, Christine, yeah. Other side, guys. A little bit better. <laughs> Cool, all right, that'll do, guys. If you feel like you need to warm up a little bit more or do bits with your band, that's cool. I'm going to go on and explain what we're doing, yeah? So, really straightforward session this morning, guys. We're just focusing on two exercises each round. We've got five rounds. And you've got 90 seconds to complete your reps in that round, yeah? So, for example, your first one, every 90 seconds, we're going to go four rounds. <coughs> for me. You've got, where's my way? You've got chest press and press ups, yeah? So chest press guys, laying flat, elbows out but not all the way up, yeah? So we're not in the 90 degrees, you're in between. So elbows on the diagonal, you're gonna press it all the way up, bring it back down. You've got eight of those. So eight chest press, then you're gonna turn over and give me 10 press ups, okay? If we doing press ups on the knees guys, I don't want your bum in the air like this, yeah make sure that the bum is down and the weight is over the hands so you can take the whole body down to the floor and up yeah, if they're a little bit um, too easy for you at the minute guys you're going to take it into a full press up position, lower yourself down and then come up on the knees, yeah, that makes sense for your first one guys, 
Yeah, you, uh, you've got 90 seconds to complete it. You should get it done in about a minute and then get 30 seconds, 20, 30 seconds rest before we go again. And I'll explain, oh, it's chopped my head off. And I'll explain um, them as we go, all right? Get ready, guys. So you've got eight press-ups, 10, no, eight chest press, 10 press-ups. Don't rush, yeah? Nice, um, good controlled reps. Get ready. Three, two, one. Let's go, guys. So eight chest press and then 10 press-ups. And net as you press them up, try and press the arms straight in together. So press it all the way up. There you go, and then bring it out. And try and have the palms facing towards me. That's it, yeah. Press it up and then down. That's it, perfect. Nice, guys. Well done, guys. I want that chest as close to the floor as we can get it. If you need to change your press-ups halfway through, that's fine. Those of you finished, just rest. You've got 30 seconds before we go again. If you need to add a couple of reps on, guys, that's fine. So if you want to do 10 and 10, do that. For those of you who've just finished a little bit early, do 10 and 10. So we only do one set each round. Yeah? 15 seconds before we go again, guys. Get ready. Second round. Three, two, one. Let's go. Eight to ten press, chest press, and then ten press up. Nice guys, big squeeze at the top. That's it guys, into press ups when you've done. Nice Julie. Well done, guys. Really good. That's it. That's it, guys. 30 seconds before we go again. Got two more rounds, yeah? Those elbows all the way out. They press together at the top. Nice. Eight to ten of those, ten and over into your press up. Keep these press ups nice and clean, guys. As we get tired, I don't want them getting crappy. If you need to scale it down, please do. Nice guys, really good. That's it, 30 seconds before we go into that last round.
Nice, Julie. Ten seconds, guys. Get ready, guys. Three, two, one. Let's go. Last round on this one. Over into your press ups, that's it. Nice, guys. Do it nice and low on your press ups, guys. Well done, everyone. Really good, that's it. Fifteen seconds, guys. Nice and nice. Good, Julie. <laughs> three two one and rest guys okay next one we are going into bent over rows and banded pull apart so um like i said before guys if you've only got a small loose band try and get a, something bigger that can stretch out um pair of tights is perfect yeah just hold them long um so bent over rows we're going both arms together dumbbell in each hand you're gonna hinge over from the hips back nice and straight let the dumbbells hang just in front of the chest. Pull them in towards the hips. Elbows squeezing together at the top. Squeeze the shoulders together and then back down. Yeah, I don't want to see no elbows up here. Okay, dumbbells go in towards the hips so you can get um, lat activation. So all the way out and in. Yeah, you've got 10 of those. Same reps as before and then eight banded pull apart. Okay, overhand grip on, on the band or whatever you're using, shoulders down, pull it out, squeeze the shoulders together, and then in, yeah? Out and in. The, the wider we can get the hands, the better, okay? Um, same as before, guys, if you need to change your reps slightly, 10 bends over rows, eight banded pull apart. If you need to do 10 and 10 or lower your reps, that's fine. Just go with how, how you're getting on, yeah? Depends on how fast you do the exercise, but I'm happy for you to change as we go. Get ready. Are we ready? 10. Three, two, one. Let's go, guys. So you've got 10 bent over rows, that's it. Hinging over, squeezing the shoulders together at the top. Nice straight back. And then eight to 10 banded pull apart. Make sure you're bending your knees, guys. Take the pressure off that lower back. Well done, everyone. Arms out straight on these pull apart, guys. Straight arms out, all the way out. Squeeze the shoulders together. Christine, loosen your grip a little bit on that on that band. Loosen your grip a little bit. Loosen, your, yeah, loosen it off a little bit. That's it. Pull it all the way out. Good, and then in. Cherie, Cherie, are you all right? Yeah. Fab. Cool. Good guys, we want to try and keep those arms as straight as we can, yeah, as we take it out. You don't want to start bending the arms. 20 seconds, then we're going again. If you can't, if your band's not really doing it for you guys, you can do bent over flies instead. Yeah, if everyone's all right, that's cool. Get ready, five seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go into bent over rows. Good, ready? Squeeze the shoulders together at the top, guys, especially if we haven't got very heavy weights. And then bend your knees a little bit. There you go. Good. 
tight upper back guys bring those shoulders together think about the muscles that you that you use them So making sure you've got some nice resistance on the fan, guys. Go control it on the way back in as well. Don't let it ping your hands together. Lovely now. Nice, guys. 30 seconds before we go again. Job, guys. Ten seconds, guys. Get ready. Three, two, one. Let's go. Third round. Come on, bring those shoulders up and together, guys. That's it. Big squeeze, stick the chest out as you row it in. Nice, Christine. Excellent, guys, really good. Apologies if you stretch your tights out, guys. Didn't think about that until I just seen. Costing everyone a new pair of tights. Nice, guys. Good job, well done. You got one more round on this one, guys. guys really good nice Cherie keep those elbows up guys as you pull the band out shoulders down That's it. Really good. Well done, everyone. Drop, guys. All right, on to our next one. We're going down onto the mat, this one. So we've got 12 pullovers. So you'll need one dumbbell for this. You're going to hold it in like a bit of a triangle with your hands here over the, the top of one dumbbell, yeah? Starting with it over your chest. You're going to let it go all the way back and then pull it up, yeah? If you've got a bench or anything, guys, you can do this on there as well. So holding your dumbbell above the chest. Keep the arms straight, letting the dumbbell fall over the head. And then you want to think about pulling it back up with, with your last. So here, yeah, this is, that's where you want to think about pulling it up from, okay? So from the heel of the hands. Then you've got six renegade rows. You've got 12 pullovers and then six renegade rows. So if we can, you're going to go into a plank position on your dumbbells. You're going to pull it in and down, in and down, yeah? If you need to do that on your knees, guys, that's fine. 
Same um, as you press up positions before though, don't let your hips go in the air, okay? And if you need to alter, um, do different reps, that's cool. Just keep it around the same. If you need to do 10 and eight or 10 and 10, that's fine. Get ready. So we've got 12 pullovers and then six renegade rows. Three, two, one. Let's go guys. Slight bend in the elbows, but you want to keep them there, yeah? Don't bend the arms. Just moving the arms from the shoulders. Good job, guys. Good. Make sure we keep, the, keep those hips nice and still on the rows, guys. If you need to take the feet wider to keep still, that's fine. Nice, guys. Six of those, and then rest. Fifteen seconds, then we're going again. This is a quick one. Zero space. <laughs> six, yeah. No, just one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. Three, two, one, let's go, guys. <laughs> Don't get much rest on this one. Good job, guys. Good, straight into those rows when you're done. Good, we've got 45 seconds before we go again, guys. Keep the hips nice and still. Nice, Susie. Good job, guys. 20 seconds, we're going into third round. Get ready guys, three, two, one, let's go. Good, 12 pullovers, six renegade rows. Go and make sure that weight is coming all the way up over the chest, guys. Good job. Thirty seconds gone. Well done, guys. Really good. 30 seconds before we go again. Last one. Get ready guys. Three, two, one, let's go.
nice guys. Good job, last one. Nice guys. Really good. Stand up for our next one, guys. Hi, everyone. Done, yeah? Perfect. Okay. Dumbbells, one in each hand. We're going 10 low to high flies. Okay. So, this one, I want you to think about pulling something from behind you. Arms are out wide at the bottom. You're going to pull them up and together. Yeah. So about 10 this way. They're coming from here, up, and palms are facing up the whole time, okay? So it's as if you're on a cable machine. So out of the bottom, up and together. So it's front of the shoulder, but chest as well, yeah? Slight bend in the elbows, and it's like you're scooping up from the bottom. 10 of those, and then eight lateral raises. So up to the side, and then back down, yeah? Same as before, if you need to change your reps about a little bit, that's fine. But we're trying to get 10 of these. I feel better if I stand with one foot forward on these as well, guys. It gives you a little, little bit of um, a better base to go from. All right. So 10 and 8 or 10 and 10. Get ready. Same format. Three, two, one. Let's go. So out from the bottom and up and together. There. Try and go wider at the bottom, guys, and then up and together at the top. Go palms up the whole time. Even when you get to the top, palms up. It's gonna give you a bit of a booby lift. That's it. Nice, eight to 10 of those. No, 10 of those and then eight to 10 lateral raises. They're tough then. Keep those elbows the highest point of the arm on your lateral raises, guys. Don't let it look like this. If you need to bend your arms in, that's fine. Well done, we've got 30 seconds before we go again. Got this round and then one more, guys. 10 seconds. Get ready. Three, two, one, let's go. Good, keep those shoulders down, guys, as you go. Shoulder blades down the back. That's it. Slight bend in the arms, team. Up and together. That's it. Really good. Squeeze the chest together at the top. Go and make sure they're coming from underneath. Then into lateral raises. That's it. If they get a little bit hard, guys, bring it in front. And then up, that'll give you a little bit more momentum, but don't use the don't use the bounce or the body to get your arms up. Good job, guys. Thirty seconds before we go again. Two more rounds. seconds guys five get ready three two one let's go good squeezing up nice 
Nice, guys. Make sure you keep those hands wide at the bottom. Lovely, guys. Well done. Ten of those and then eight to ten lateral raises. <laughs> Sarah, you make me laugh. <laughs> so dramatic. <laughs> it's a good job everyone's on mute. Nice guys. 30 seconds before we go into that last round. We've got loads of time. Try and keep those elbows up, Susie. I don't know if it's just the angle of the camera. Is it? Is it me or is it you? That's better. 10 seconds, guys. Last one. And then we've got one more set to go. Might even have time for a little finisher. Three, two, one. Let's go, guys. Last one. These are looking good though, guys. Good job. Well done, everyone. 30 seconds gone. <laughs> Are they burning? <laughs> Lovely guys. I really shouldn't laugh for people being in pain, should I? But it's <laughs> shake it off, that's it. All right, guys, we've got one more. We're going standing snow angel. I think these have got another word as well, maybe around the world. These ones. Is that what they're called, Sarah? Yeah, around the world, so stand and snow angels. Um, and then we've got some little bicep curls to finish. So palms forward, side of the dumbbells go together, staying um, stood up, slight bend in the elbows. You're gonna bring them all the way around, touch at the top, yeah? Back down. So every time you touch at the top, that's one. You got one, back down, two. You're gonna do six of those. And then we're gonna go 12 alternating hammer curls. Down, yeah. No, that's not a hammer curl. Ignore me. Um, dumbbells face this way for hammer curls. So thumbs are in towards you or thumbs forward, yeah? Keeping the elbows in, make sure the arms come straight at the bottom. Okay. So you've got six of these and then ten of your hammer curls. But if you need to change your reps like usual, you can. Okay? Don't want to have too much rest. I think we'll go with that one. So this is our last one, guys. Are we ready? Three, two, one, let's go. So palms facing forward, all the way through that first exercise, yeah? The further the hands are away from the body, the harder it is, whatever you do with your arms, yeah? So if they are a little bit too hard, bend the elbows a little bit more. If not, keep them out nice and straight. Keep the body still. Obviously none of this, trying to get it up. Trying to get the dumbbells off. It. 12 alternating hammer curls, not the one that I did. Nice guys. If you've done the normal reps on that time, I think we can 8 to 10. On, on the snow angels for the next round, yeah, because we're only getting up to that rest mark now. So eight to 10 next round and then 12 curls. Squeeze a little bit more in.
10 seconds, guys. Three, two, one, let's go. Good, eight to 10 of these on this round, guys, depending on how quick we're moving. Keep it nice and controlled, guys. Body still. Really good. Nice team. 30 seconds gone. Straight into your hammer curls. That's it, well done. Make sure both arms are straight before the other one goes, guys. Otherwise, you're doing this. Keep your body still, well done. 30 seconds before we go again. We've got two more rounds. You'll be happy to know we probably won't have time for a finisher. What a shame. What a shame. Ten seconds, guys. Five, three, two, one. Let's go. Nice work, everyone. Keep those elbows tucked into the sides on your bicep curls, guys. Elbows in. Make sure your arms are coming all the way straight to the bottom. Well done, Tree. You're right, Chris. Niggly shoulder. Good job, guys. One more round to go, team. Ten seconds, guys. Last one. Get ready, three, two, one, let's go. Let's get a team, last one, good job. Good, if you need to drop your weight for these guys to finish them off, you can. Really good, that's it. Straight into your curls, guys. Well done. Good job, guys. Sarah. Well done everyone. Take one arm across the chest. Let's have a little bit of a stretch out before we go. Good and change. Oh look at that for timing. Alright, take one arm in between the shoulder blades, guys. Push the elbow back.
Good, and change. Not too many layers on, I can't even reach my own elbow. All right, guys, link the fingers together, heel of the hands forward. Try and make that back as wide as you can. And then truck side to side. A nice truck down the side. Other way, hands on the back, squeeze the elbows together, push the chest out. And then reaching over. Other side. There you go guys, well done everyone. Good job, good job, good job. Thanks Connie. You're welcome, see you later. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Bye Connie. Have a good day guys.